Buying gold. Uh, dear Billy Throwback. Was listening to an old podcast where you said you were going to buy gold because the economy was unstable. Oh, yeah, it was a little unstable. Yeah, it was 10 years ago. Yeah, I would say it was a little unstable. I'd say I had my finger on the pulse a year after the big fucking crash. Uh, two years at that point. Um did you ever buy gold to stash away in case our currency crashed? Why would I say that on the podcast? Uh, I think some people are treating Bitcoin in the same way. Thanks and go fuck yourself. Uh, yeah, I thought about doing that and this, until I found out how fucking difficult it is to buy gold coins. It's very hard to get your hands on some gold. And then, and then I just realized, you know, if I have a fucking gold coin, what am I going to do with it? So say the dollar crashes and nobody has any money and then I'm walking down the street with a bag of gold coins. Nobody has any money. They can't pay anybody. And that is a guy from the sandwich store going to fucking show up, also known as a deli. Is he going to show up at the deli and I'm going to come walking in as he's not getting paid and then I have a gold coin and is he going to give me fucking change for that? Somebody told me, well, get some silver coins. They're not worth as much. Ah, I don't, I, you know something? I don't need that fucking headache. Um, if you got gold coins, what you want to do is trade that in for some fucking cyanide pills, okay? And then when everything goes to shit and people are coming up your driveway, that you know, like you're in that fucking movie Us, yeah, you just fucking, you take your, uh, you kill me pills. I think that's the way to do it. You know, get a flat screen TV on all four walls of every fucking room you have. Just blow out the fucking ozone layer as much as you can. And when the shit goes to hell, you know, just watch it on all your TVs. And, you know, when you recognize the helicopter surveillance footage and you're like, oh, fuck, that's my house. So they ride outside and you take your pills. Or you get a panic room. You build a panic room. Yeah, but they could still smoke you out, I would think. There's always a way in. I think what you do, I like the underground shit. I think that's the way to go. When people take, you know, basically, you know those shit things that they un unload from those fucking ships down at the wharf and then they stick them on the back of a truck, 18-wheeler uh, chassis, you know those things from the second season of uh, The Wire? Where they find all those fucking poor people in there, right? Spoiler alert. The second season of The Wire from fucking 15 years ago. Um I like the people, they, they, they get those things buried. But the problem is, the problem is, is you got to dig the hole yourself. Because if you hire a contractor with a backhoe, you know, sorry, just you on there. He's going to be asking all kinds of questions. Well, you what, are you, what are you doing here, man? You fucking, you making a lap pool or something? No, I just need, what are you getting rid of your ex-wife? Oh, shit. Nah, people would figure it out. I'd say that's the, way you, that's the way you kill your wife. You know, because they always say they, they, never, they never dig lower than like six feet. Have you watched all those murders she wrote? Unsolved fucking... Not murders she wrote. What are those? Unsolved murder fucking... The first 48. They're always burying people in a shallow grave and they always get fucking caught or they just dump it in the woods. Just shoddy. Of all the fucking times to not dot all your I's and cross all your T's. When you're dumping a fucking body, you know, if you just didn't kill somebody in, in a crime of passion, if you're actually premeditating the fucking, you dig the hole first. And, and go lower than fucking, you know, go lower than six feet. You got all fucking dead persons alive. They'll be alive for a long fucking time. You got all fucking just go down 10 feet. 10 fucking feet, right? That's what you do. You go cool hand Luke times like fucking three. Can you fucking, what the fuck kind of lunatics are out there? Can you imagine digging a fucking hole for somebody that you know you're going to kill you're not in the middle of digging that hole going, what the fuck am I doing? 
Why don't I find another fucking... Why don't I just, you know, fight the guy? <laughs> why don't I just let it go? You know, go have a couple of fucking beers or something like that. I'm going to kill this person and then risk going to jail for life and then having to join... Then, then at that point, you know, then what do you do? You're a white dude. You just killed somebody. Now you got to go through the pain in the ass of fucking... Going to the prison library and cramming on Adolf Hitler so you can come off as a legit Nazi and join the fucking Aryan Brotherhood. And then you got to listen to that dumb shit every fucking day for the rest of your life, you know? You think an AA meeting's bad when you're just a binge drinker, man. Wait till you fucking try that shit. What just happened to my headphones? Everything was good. Now I can't hear myself. Hello? Hello? Is it still going? What happened? I literally just moved. Oh, God, don't do not do this to me. I was having such a fun time, and then all of a sudden I can't hear myself. Oh, I see what happened. I moved, and the wire turned the volume down. You guys were all panicking there. Oh, Christ, this fucking guy with no producer, he's not going to be able to figure it out because my fucking laptop is losing its charge. No, nah, fucking, I can't move over here because my headphone cord is too short. You know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't think that I'm 10 years into this podcast listening to this, these, these fucking technology fucking problems every fucking person that i started out with and started doing a podcast they fucking built some howard stern level studio or some version of it you know what i mean i'm like the native american of fucking podcasting you know they just live the same way essentially at least that's what the history books say you know they just fucking this is how you kill a deer and this is how you use all of it all right I mean, you want to, these fucking, you know, it's fucking hilarious. All these fucking douchebag white people out there fucking with their stupid ideas about minimalism. Acting like they came up with that shit. What about the Native Americans? Can the fuck, this motherfucking goddamn fucking, who the fuck came up with the, no, I don't do this anymore. That's it right there. Goes to floor number four and then that's it. Who the fuck came up with this stupid fucking magnet Fucking plug on the goddamn Apple computer. Stupid fucking cunts. Have you ever seen the Apple building, by the way? There's so many fucking companies that are, they're just out of control. They're fucking, it looks like the Pentagon. No, it doesn't, Bill. It's a circle. The Pentagon is a... F- <laughs> I just realized, as far as shapes go, how dumb that sounded. I saw this round building. You know what it looked like to me? The Pentagon. Hey, who went to summer school for math almost every fucking year? This guy, this guy, who's a fucking stupid fuck. Fucking assholes. Stupid magnet. You know how many fucking times I've had to replug that thing in? Do you understand as a, a, a person living in a first world country that that's the most difficult thing I have to deal with? Can't imagine the sad person that makes this fucking plug. Um, <laughs> how funny is it that they go after comedians for jokes and all these fucking goddamn companies have like sweatshop labor and ah, that's all fine. That's all fine. Well, if we made the computers here, they'd cost ninety million dollars. No, they wouldn't. They wouldn't. If you actually paid people and and you paid and gave them benefits and you took it out of your end. You know, they always say that, well, we could make shirts here, but they'd cost $700 each. It's like, how little are you paying people to sew these things together? Because they're not going to take a pay cut. Because they're going to stay in their yacht with their mountain of cocaine and their fucking horse. That's the biggest problem with the fucking world is whores will fuck anything if it has money. Maybe if whores had standards, all of these fucking guys wouldn't be fucking doing what I'm doing, whatever it takes. Doing whatever it takes to get a fine piece of fucking pussy that never did anything other than suck my dick, sit next to me on my yacht with my fucking name stitched into the fucking seat. Oh, is there anything better than when a yacht sinks? Other than the crew. Oh, it's just my favorite thing ever. It just doesn't happen enough. 
just doesn't happen enough, you know. Can you imagine that? You're sleeping in the bowels of that thing. Like the things you had to do to get that fucking yacht. And all of a sudden you start taking on water and the radio isn't working. And for the first time in years, you're thinking about a higher power and all the sins you have to fucking confess to. How fast are you fucking yammering as you start to feel the water coming up around your fucking sheepskin fucking slippers? Whatever the fuck rich people have. Everybody can have sheepskin, Bill. Sheepskin's not expensive. All right, probably some endangered species. Baby seal fucking slippers would have been a better reference. Whatever. Next podcast. I'll get it next podcast. Um, yeah, so I, I got into conspiracy theory and all of that type of shit, but I got into the I got into the scary part of uh, conspiracy theory. I was reading about shit that was actually happening and then people's theories about it. I wasn't reading about, you know, shapeshifters and, and fucking anything. The government actually has a flying saucer in, in the area of 51, whatever the fuck. It, all that shit was just like, oh, really? Okay, whatever. I, I got more into the economies and banking and, uh, uh, you know, corporate greed and uh, politicians and how the whole fucking thing works and offshore accounts and just all of this. I got into that stuff. I didn't get into like, you know, we're actually aliens uh, that were dropped by a fucking flying saucer and they're watching us. It's a big experiment. I, I didn't get into that. The government has time machines and uh, the former you is going to come. In the, I never got into that fucking crazy shit.